Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Marcus here and I would like to share with you this really cool book that I just got my hands on yesterday. Uh, it's been out for a little bit while now and I just finally decided to treat myself to something nice because hey why not I've been working hard etc etc. So I just got it and I would like to share it with you. Now for those who are wondering this book is from Hero Collector or published by Hero Collector and or Eagle Moss. So technically this falls under the Star Trek Starships collection banner um, because these are a series of books based on probably the most popular ships in the Star Trek franchise. At least the, the two main enterprises, possibly Voyager, maybe the Defiant, who knows. So yeah, I'm going to uh, unwrap it really quick. And then we'll jump right into it. All right, folks. And as you can see, I've got the book unwrapped. And uh, it's time to dive right into it. So first off, you'll notice the nice cover with the Enterprise there, or at least the top of the hull up there, an outline, of course. And we have our Star Trek, the USS Enterprise, NCC 1701 and 1701A Illustrated Handbook. This covers basically... The original Enterprise from the Pike era uh, up until, of course, the uh, refit, its destruction, I'm assuming. And then, of course, the Enterprise A as well. So now I'm going to open it right up. So let's check out what's inside. Without the dust jacket, it's simply black and says Star Trek USS Enterprise 1701-1701A, for those that are wondering. So, and then you turn the page and you get what looks like three different plan views or three different views of the ship there. So, you know, it's got the Discovery version in here too, for those who are also wondering. And basically, I guess it's now canon that this was the way the Enterprise looked before Kirk got to it. And then of course the refit in 1701A that fans love. So, I mean, there's a lot of debate about when this refit or when this actually happened because we all saw the cage and in the episode, the cage, which is the pilot, the original Star Trek, it looked like this, albeit with a couple other additions and things like that. But what they're saying what the producers of Discovery are saying is that after the cage, or at least the theory is after the cage and in between then and the original series, the Enterprise underwent a refit, which made it look like this. And then sometime before the original series, it goes back to this. Now, to me, that makes no sense. But anyway, so yeah, we get that here. Turn the page. Wow, really nice looking work there. Got our credit stuff here and more pages. I mean, more uh, font and stuff there. So that's cool. We have our table of contents showing you everything that's in here. So if you're curious, please pause it, this video, and you can kind of look and see for yourself. We get an acknowledgments page and a forward. So that's kind of cool. I'll look forward to reading that. And now we dive right into the history of the USS Enterprise NCC-1701 and 1A. And here is a nice image of the ship itself, which I think was recreated or repurposed from uh, one of the uh, model magazines. I believe it might be the XL Enterprise or issue number 50, which was the original Enterprise. Turn the page. We have some operational history here. And uh, looks like we have a little bit of Discovery stuff in here. So there's that scene. And then there's Captain Pike there. So it'll be interesting to actually read this because now I guess it's in print. It's an official Star Trek publication. So it's considered canon. So I will be very interested to sit down or I, will, I am looking forward to sitting down with this book perhaps on a rainy day, which according to the forecast we're going to have soon here in California and um, read this and, and see what how it all fits in. So, of course, we have more imagery from the original series. 
And then we get into, of course, the motion picture and the Wrath of Khan. And of course, Star Trek three, four, five, then we get the A, and then the end of the era, of course. And I think this is just a general overview of the service of Kirk's Enterprise in general. And now we really get into it. So this is the original Enterprise as it appeared in 2254. The, the Pike era, at least as of the cage. So this is how it looked. And uh, this looks pretty cool, I have to admit. And uh, diehard Star Trek fans will notice that this diagram looks familiar. Why? Because years ago, and I think there was some publication in the UK as well, but here in the United States, back in the, the mid to the end of the 90s, or really to the early 2000s, there used to be a magazine called Star Trek The Magazine. And um, we used to get diagrams and things like that of ships and weapons and costumes and stuff like that there. And uh, actually, you know what? Hang on a second, I'll grab one. Sorry about that. So yeah, as you can see, here was the Star Trek The Magazine, or one of them, I have several, uh, from way back when. And pretty much the kind of, the, the format is similar, at least in terms of how the diagrams were. Let me see if I can find one to show you for comparison's sake. This one was specifically for the motion picture, so this is all about that. And I don't know if this ship itself is actually in here. Oh, yes, it is. So, yeah, as you can see, this is how the diagrams were in the 90s. And so it's the same type of art, same font, even as far as the text is concerned, and so on. So I'm very happy, actually, as a fan, to see that reproduced here in this book as well. So definitely a, a good thing here. And we get some text, of course. And more trivia and type on the right-hand side. We get the briefing room, Pike's quarters, etc. The transporter room. And standard equipment at the time. This is how the costumes looked. And again, if you just take a moment with me, bear with me, uh, to see how the costumes were. It's very similar as far as the way the diagrams were, are, how these look. So you can see it's very close. So, yeah, definitely cool. And uh, let's move right along. We get the equipment, phaser or phase pistol, and the communicator, that laser cannon, which didn't really do anything, didn't even punch a hole in a wall. And now we get to <laughs> the controversy. The Enterprise, as it appeared, well, three years later, and 2257, let me make sure I have my timeline correct. Uh, 2254, yes, 57, okay. So this is how it appears in Discovery. And uh, as you can see, this image was also ported over from the Star Trek Discovery Starships collection. Uh, you may remember my video when I reviewed that model. And we turn the page and we get more information. Uh, perhaps this explains all of the changes and retrofitting and whatnot so again, I really look forward to reading this. Um, I will say that the Enterprise changes probably one of the few things that didn't bother me about Discovery uh, because that actually could make sense, even though it doesn't make sense why they did it that way. Um, but anyway, so here's that. And we get the ventral, dorsal, and port views here. And we get, of course, front and aft elevation views. And a new graphic, which has previously never been released, of course, with text, we get to see how the bridge looked during this time period. So that's cool. And of course we get the uniforms and insignia of 2257. So this is definitely, you know, something that's new that was not here before, or definitely that was not in any previous Star Trek or Enterprise history book. So that's kind of cool. And now we get the Discovery Era uniforms. At least the Star Trek, or at least the Enterprise Discovery Era uniforms. And we get the Phaser Pistol from 2257. 
the communicator, tricorder, which looks similar to the uh, Wrath of Khan motion picture era one later on. And finally, <laughs> as it appeared from 2265 to 2269, which is pretty much the original series run. And we get that history, dorsal, ventral, port, front, aft elevation. We get the main bridge here, captain's chair, navigation, science stations, communications, engineering, and all that good stuff. We get the engineering. So it's a lot of good stuff in here. This encompasses the TOS era, sick bay. It's all here. And uh, it's quite extensive, so there's a lot in here for you to take a look at. And now I'm going to just skip to the end of this and get to the motion picture era. Here's another image of the refit Enterprise. This was ported over from issue number, what, two of the uh, Star Trek Starships collection. So you'll recognize that. And this is from 2271 to 2285 talks about the refit and everything involved with that we get of course the before the refit and after so for those who are curious about that we get more views and more text of course ventral port aft front elevation we get the main bridge which i believe i showed you in this magazine if i can just pull it up one more time and bore you with it so there it is and here is the actual diagram. So you'll see it's literally the same one. So I am not complaining because I'm glad to have it in a book as much as I will love and keep these magazines. So that's cool. Get main engineering, which I believe is also in that particular magazine issue. This is also in there as well. I don't know if this is, but it may be in the magazine. We get the whole docking at a space station thing, which has never been really in the magazine before, so I'm looking forward to reading this part. We get the Work B, which is also part of the Star Trek Starships collection. I think one of the earlier shuttle packs, which I have, so that's kind of cool. Check that out. We get the Phaser Pistol, the movie era Phaser, Tricorder, Tricorder, and of course the infamous Auto Destruct sequence. And the environmental suit, which I also showed you in the magazine. Take note there. Space suits, bio beds, Starfleet uniforms, and insignia of that time period. Just breezing through this part here. And finally, we get to the Enterprise A. This image was also ported over from the magazine, so look forward to that. We get the main bridge. Observation room, nacelles, which is cool because I've always loved the movie era nacelles, which even made it onto ships like the Miranda class, the uh, Constellation class, etc., etc. Defensive shields, Kirk's quarters, the brig, Jeffrey's tubes, the shuttle bay, which we have this shuttle in the last shuttle pack that was released, so I'm happy about that. The galley, hand phaser, levitation boots, environmental suit, insignia uniform stuff, which is cool. And that seems to be getting to the end of the book here. And of course, the magazine, I mean, the book kind of concludes with this last image of the way the uniforms looked. Uh, Would have been nice to get kind of like an in-conclusion sort of thing. Um, but there's a lot to be in to be had in this book. And we get the index telling you what's on what page if you're wondering. And that pretty much wraps it up with Eagle Moss and Hero Collector telling you what other books they have available. Um, so yeah, and also the Enterprise D has a book out there, and I may go ahead and grab that one too. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the book. Definitely worth having, in my opinion. And uh, especially if you love the ships and love the Enterprise, or at least the Enterprise and Enterprise A. So definitely check this out. This will run you about $20 on Amazon and about $29 elsewhere. 
And um, yeah, if you have any questions, drop me a line down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Until then, until next time, guys, live long and prosper.